Well, don't take your kids to a 4th of July parade today. They may become Republicans. Really? That's the warning from this new study at Harvard University claiming Independence Day parades are white or right winged. <laughs> Easier said than done. But isn't today really about America? What's so dangerous about exposing your children to patriotism? Comedian and radio personality Tony Katz joins us from Los Angeles this morning, bright and early on the 4th of July. Hey. Good early, Absolutely. early 4th of July, Tony. All right, so what do you think of this whole study, that if you go to a 4th of July parade, you're more likely to vote Republican, you're more likely to turn out on Election Day, and they just seem to be a, a breeding ground for Republicans. What do you think about the study from Harvard? Uh, first of all, happy Independence Day, everybody. Uh, secondly, what's wrong with any of those things? I'm, um, I'm amazed that Harvard even allowed the study to be published. You put out a study that on its face is created solely and exclusively to attack Republicans and by extension members of the Tea Party, conservatives, libertarians, etc. But once you read into the study, you're stunned at what you find. One of the great numbers on there is about voter turnout. If a, if a 15 to 18 year old attends one, just one rain-free uh, 4th of July Independence Day celebration, they're more likely to vote. And that number drops immediately after they turn 18. What happens when you turn 18? You go to college. Just another reason not to send your kids to Harvard. Not all of them turn out like that other soldier, David French, from the last segment. Some Why? of them turn out to be hardcore leftist nonsense people. Tony, why would they release this on a day when we're supposed to be so patriotic? It's the, the effort to marginalize all things that are good for America is part of the leftist and the progressive culture. They absolutely positively cannot handle the idea of American exceptionalism, that one thing is better than another thing, that America is actually a better place than the rest of the nations that we have to deal with. They are destroyed by this idea, so they'll do anything to try and create a situation where the 4th of July, Independence Day, now becomes a political hot potato. There is nothing wrong with saying that our rights come from God, that there are natural laws. There's nothing wrong in, in believing in liberty. And if, like they say in the study, that the, the 4th of July, Independence Day, actually socializes children to become Republicans, mm -hmm. what the hell does May Day do? What does that well, Tony, do to children? If this is all do the I want intent, my kids to... If this is the intent, has it backfired? Oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous for Democrats. It's insulting to Democrats claiming they're not patriotic. It doesn't do anything for the cause of, of progressives in terms of turning away people who are conservative or, or lean to the right, which is the war, large swath of America. What it says is that Democrats can't handle the fact that people believe in America and what America stands for, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. They are destroyed by this fact. And what do they have to fall on? We're turning our kids into Republicans. If turning our kids into Republicans means they vote more and they feel love for their country, more power to the Republicans. Thank you, Tony. Tony Katz, a man who loves America, even when we get him up at 4 a.m. <laughs> right. West Coast time. Happy Absolutely. 4th of July, Tony. Appreciate Thanks. it.